Hey guys, oh my god, it's the end of the year, and this is the time of year where we uh, come and collect ourselves for the podcast, uh, so we can uh, talk about the the year and how well we think we uh, didn't do. It's like a self-evaluation. Yeah, it's but we do have two special guests with us for this episode. We have um, super mega employee extraordinaire, Jackson Tucker. Yeah, that, that's right. Yeah, you, you pronounced that right. And 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 oh, I thought it was Tucker. Sorry. No, uh, it, it's an easy misconception. We we look very similar. You do, but no, I'm actually Jackson. Okay, Jackson. Okay. When your last name's Tucker. It's not that's Tucker Tucker. It's Jackson no, it's not. Tucker. It's not. I know Tucker Tucker would make sense as my name, but no, it's okay, Jackson, Jackson Tucker. Tucker. Yeah, but we. Have, I, we have, I know that gets a little confusing. We have one more guest, and he's the editor for our Let's Plays, ladies and gentlemen. Justin but lag. <laughs> I, there's nothing wrong with uh, how you introduced me at all. That's that's what I go by online. Uh, thank you guys you for, heard him. Thank you for getting it right. It's nothing but lag. His name is Justin though, and and recently an Ryan awful, said Justin but lag, username. and I think that it that's not an off. That's a great username. Nothing no, but dude, lag. Dude, that's I dude, like that username. I still I really use like it. I still use Rhino Hazard. I think for my PlayStation name. Well, I can't change what? it. So Ryan, now every fan's gonna go add you on. PlayStation. They already have. They like I have my privacy settings on PlayStation. When, whenever unlock. you guys play on my account, I'm like, hey, make sure Justin knows you block up my account name. I don't want to get super mega fans added. Me. <laughs> <laughs> my thing is like my username is shit. It's Matt H Watson, but it just looks like Matthew Watson, but missing like a letter. So it's Math Math Watson, Matt Matt Watson, Matt H Watson. What is Matt, that? Matt? Watson? I, Matt Watson. I think yours is the most kind of like well, yours and. Jackson. Jackson's is Jackson A. Tucker. <laughs> yeah, well, so no, that's just... my current one. My my older one was better when I was in high school. Well, what you don't it? want to give that away. L- l- let me see what happens when I dig real quick with it. Just <laughs> just a preliminary Google search. Right. Well, while he's doing that, uh, we want to welcome our two guests. We have the other two boys from Super Mega in the room, and I don't think have we done a podcast yet with with both of them on. No, I don't, I don't think, think so. so. Yes, yeah, no, so no never. First... I, we haven't done a let's play or anything. I think with all of us. Nope. J- no, we Jackson, haven't. what's the last podcast you were on? It's, it's been a while. It's been a while. The, the Japan been a while. one? Was it the Japan I think it was the Japan oh, one. No, yeah. That was episode 133. Been. Or 135. Yeah, you guys don't think I'm funny, so you don't let me on them. Well, the, the fans don't think you're funny. Yeah. I think not you're us, funny. Jackson. But yeah, we, we got the whole Super Mega game together for the, the year in review, the, the year wrap-up podcast that we do every year, um, where we kind of look back uh, and, and you know, kind of just see how the year went, uh, talk about it. We're going to let uh, our employees... Uh, give us a couple words of support and tell us how good bosses we were this well, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, um, yeah. yeah. So very excited for that. I hope <clears throat> you guys came prepared with your your speeches. Um, but yeah, I want to start off by saying before we get into the the meat of everything, damn, what a what a fucking good year. Twenty nineteen oh. was a was a killer year. Are we talking about tires now? <laughs> That's damn, they bro. Bringing the heat already. There it is. <laughs> we out here. Yeah, with the one two. All right, Jack. Hit him. Hit him one time. Def- yeah. Definitely a, a busy year in terms of getting right. the Super Megaplex up and up and going. Uh, Justin, this is like your first full year, January to December, just kind of like work, like officially working for us. Well, officially, no, well, no, officially you with, started when I've like officially been working with you guys. If we're counting the best ofs for two and a half years but in terms of like becoming the uh, unemployed since being big editor man it's been it's been uh, about a year and a half now okay so this is the first full year since I I I became an employee yeah damn well thank you and this is Jackson's first year with Super Mega 2 yeah he's cool because I like technically started doing y'all's social media back in was that like September last year? I remember you were begging us to to do our social. I was media. like, please, You're like I'll do it for free, and you did. We weren't posting. Like our no. social media was dead. I mean, we're still not, but well, it's better than what. Now it you was. can blame are you, me. Are you, well, we can. Blame are you me. admitting that you're not doing your job? Actually, no, I am. On we just haven't had a good monkey day in a while. That's all. Or that's sorry, true. monkey month. That what what was uh wasn't isn't there is Thanos Day gonna happen? Dude, Thanos Day is happening. Already scheduled. I already got already Thanos Day scheduled for 2020. Shape. Excellent. I'm I'm excited. Isn't it in April? I think it's April, yeah. Because the movie came out in April. Yeah, then it's April. Yeah. Okay. It's the I day it's the, the day Endgame will be remembered, right? Yeah. We'll all remember Thanos Endgame, day. don't worry. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so glad that we have a, Dude, an official like... company holiday in Thanos. <laughs> I, I love it. That we should throw a party. We, we got to have a Thanos Day party. I'll come out for it and everything. <laughs> I love the fact that people hated it while it was the most relevant it was. Did I they hate am- Thanos Day? Oh my God, yeah. Oh, no, people fucking hated it. They, what? Like, oh, they tweeted yeah. every so single hour different like, Thanos tweets. <laughs> so I can't but imagine... it's Thanos Day. But I can't imagine a year, like, gone, where it's like, okay... Everyone every- forgot. Yeah, everyone, also, everyone's done now. 
think about how much more Thanos art we've gotten in the last year. <laughs> okay, I'm like, you're right. Na- Ever na- since na- the Blu-ray came out? Have you been curating more Thanos stuff for Thanos Day 2020? Oh, I have. I have. I got to go through, though, again and, like, really dig. I've kind of been like, oh, this is Thanos. Let me save it on my timeline. But I haven't, you know, been getting deep into the searches. I like the one you tweeted out where you could see, like, the base of his penis. You tweeted out where it's like, he's, like, <laughs> well, pulling I tweet the, the whole picture. Dick, like, his dick root. You can see the base. Yeah, the root <laughs> of his, his dick. If my boss is one of such <laughs> misers, I could have tweeted <laughs> the whole <laughs> picture, but is that's, that a real That's term? a phrase. The dick root. It's yeah, the root it's, of it's your the cock. It's the base. The dick root. All right. Oh, is, is that the other character? from uh, <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> I, I, I am Dick Root. <laughs> you can you can tweet out the full uncensored so one. Or, is this confirmation? Because you can tweet penises on Twitter and not get uh not get that's flagged. true. But okay. you can't tweet uh, Drake songs, as Justin found out. Right, you just you just opened up a wound <laughs> with me. No, yeah, I'm I'm one strike away from getting suspended from Twitter for life. That's all because yeah. of a fucking Drake song. I can no longer use copyrighted music. Everyone Damn. else was cool. Every other wait, what every the hell? Though? Because no, she I only know. 11, but she looks 16. the moment you fuck with Drake, <laughs> <laughs> bro. F- fucking Drake was not having it, man. Like I, I like how like probably like uh, right around the same time I posted a, uh, a meme with a, a Drake song in it. Frank posted. Frank Jeff C posted a uh, a meme with two copyrighted songs in it. Nothing happened. Everyone I know I've never it. heard of anything ever happening to anyone on Twitter for copyright material. There was no. You make money I know there was a thing that could happen. I remember a small I thing. Like I started it. looking at it through. Uh, I th- Someone was adding someone else that I followed about it, and I was like, oh, this is like a small problem that's going on. And all of a sudden, it happened to Justin, and it was still a small problem. But then it happened to... I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Justin, Justin it, what was the tweet? Because you explained to me. It was, it's it, his best tweet. It, it, re- it was really that fucking was funny. No, okay. Well, there was also uh, a Playboy Car- Playboy Cardi. The Playboy Cardi one was my favorite. That's thing the one that's like, tweeted. Wonderful. That's the yeah. best thing he's ever tweeted. Um, that's your magnum opus. Drake... The Drake tweet was what got me to my final strike. It was a video of a very sad, uh, a small little capuchin monkey, and he's laying down on the ground listening to an MP3 player. And I just post, I, I, I put the song Marvin's Room by Drake. <laughs> That's so funny, though. Like, That's um, such a good tweet. How can Drake see that and not laugh? But I did not know that Twitter was a platform where like people are getting shit taken down because the word of stealing it. Like, I'm is, start- is, like who goes to Twitter to like listen to their like song like? Bro, me. Twitter straight up fucking forwarded me an email from the copyright manager at Universal. It was from and he Drake was himself. His. Well, he Universal's his. right like right down the road, man. We live like literally two minutes Next away. Next time I'm out here, I'm going to come back on in a couple months. We're going to pull up at Universal with picket signs, and we're going to tell them to bring Drake out, and we're going to have a discussion. Can we dress up as Gru? <laughs> Sure, dude. Okay, thanks. I was just, I was just wondering. I'm just gonna start flagging any super mega meme or like <laughs> clip in the replies of our tweets and be like, y- "You're getting banned off Twitter. You're getting banned off Twitter." But like, where do you? Put, I guess Instagram's the safe place now Instagram where you can is, post funny Instagram's memes. Instagram's a part T- of the- TikTok as well. well. We don't need to. Well, I mean, it's Wait, just the, the thi- we I have just, to we have to give people safe havens to post. We this have to stuff. acknowledge that TikTok is. Uh, a huge growing meme outlet in a Chinese. It, no, it's so true, dude. I love TikTok. T- TikTok is why Blonde Boy's got such a big resurgence in the last year or so. Respect for that. I know. Because Blonde uh, Boy's went from like 3 million to like 7 I million views now. I don't have an issue with TikTok, I guess. It all it just kind of well, scares me. You and I have been watching a lot of hours of TikTok. Yeah. A TikTok cringe compilation. I'll, I'll They're get, really good. We'll There's a lot of us Ryan's on TikTok, place. Ryan. There's a lot of uh, people have, like to voice. There's someone that cosplays you on TikTok I've seen. I Dude, saw that. <laughs> I love that there's one uh, so much. Oh, there's... Didn't... S- okay, the funniest shit I've found is uh, seeing... Uh, <laughs> The people doing Freddie Dread songs. They're, those are good. Freddie loves oh, those, those. Are all too. over the place. Freddie, Freddie, Freddie loves. The I sent TikToks. you one. <laughs> they really, they, they, they so really on them. <laughs> I was talking about this and right now. My girlfriend just like sending me a bunch of TikToks of a like, bunch of Freddie Dread, a bunch of Freddie Dread. When she's like, "God, I, this guy's so good. I want to meet him." Well, you you know him. I do. You know, <laughs> not not to flex, but uh, I know me. I, my he favorite has thing, stayed at our house. I saw like people commenting, they're like, Matt's good friends with Freddie Dredd, get him on the podcast. I'm like, I was like well, I, he, he was on the, podcast. on the podcast. He was already here. <gasps> Bitch! Bitches! Freddie Dredd! It's a bit of Freddie Dredd! Dredd! Get in head! <laughs> Gonna take a girl to bed! <laughs> if she don't, I don't care! I put down my underwear! Freddie gonna poo poo in his diaper! <laughs> I wish he did the music like that. Which song was that? Uh, it's it's unreleased. I actually shouldn't. It's even called know. Cha-Cha. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, Caca. <laughs> yeah. Cha-Cha. More like Caca. Yeah, but I, I didn't know that Twitter 
even did that. I thought Twitter was a safe space. I mean, I didn't know that content. either. And, uh, it, Until it you all... got slapped with the, your account's going to get Yo, deleted I got for infringing like, on copyright. I got three within the span of like two or three hours that one day. I posted a video recently Cringe? on Twitter that had a Drake song in it. And nothing happened. Ooh. I got a lot of big rings. I got a lot of big. Well, you're verified, Matt. That's right. That's true. And well, that's... Drake's like, oh, he he he, fuck with the vision. Yeah. Like, well, then, <laughs> does that mean that I have to get verified and then I can start posting copyright again? Probably. Good luck, Justin. Thanks. It was hard for me. Watch it happen. Well, Matt, Justin's for me. funny Just... on social media. Not really. What was? The, what was? What I was... think Justin's very funny. I don't on appreciate media. that, Jackson. Well, I I don't appreciate your jokes. So. Well, you can mute me then can is there tea i already have do you have me muted ryan no i'm trying to delete my old meme account so i can talk about my <laughs> username you're still going through that yeah yeah i didn't you had a meme account uh well Matt, why don't you just tell if, them what it is and then private it after i'm trying but it's on an old website so I'm oh like, it's not on twitter no 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 it's oh. on a, well we, we can cut this <laughs> we'll believe the name of the website sure it, it was on dot com <laughs> oh my god I remember that shit that was like my favorite website I was going through and it like you have like these titles and shit like that I'm like god that and stupid videos stupid, stupid videos, videos so fucking good D I remember like for some reason so I how much are, of this are we cutting out oh I, I was thinking we can just bleep, just the, name bleep of the, the name of the website of yeah yeah people, people are gonna what? know what we're talking about now I have to do it twice there's a, there's a lot of websites like that no, like, no Ryan you're giving me more work right <laughs> now I don't appreciate I'm it I'm sorry <laughs> Can we just be like that beep is beep? Justin likes watching movies, right, Justin? This isn't a weird cut in. No, not at all. I absolutely love movies such as Nacho Libre. Yeah, who the main character is a very, very cool uh, person. Yeah, he's he's a he's a oh, real jo character. Blajinsk Cliff Blajinsky. Bl <laughs> like, I cannot remember his name. Cliff Blajinsky Games. Blijinsky? Bro. Bro, what's no, his name? Blajinsky Games. Put some respect oh, on Cliff Blajinsky. 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 That's what it is. Blajinsky Games. Yeah, I was like, Cl what's Jablin Jables? Is that I what he would, says? I think so. I still haven't seen What's Jack Jablin Black Jay Tards? What does he say? He does not call them Jay Tards. He, call, he calls That's them. That's my parents called me. Jay Tards. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I would, I would it's love. It's a Tards joke for anyone who wants, yeah. to, who wants to come Who wants to cancel me. Ryan? Jackson, my favorite <laughs> thing you've ever said was the three wise Dude, cards. I still <laughs> think like, real that. Shit. That was, I think that's actually. The you know what? It, 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 because it's the last super mega cast of the year and we're looking Ever. back at the year here and there. I think that that actually was the funniest moment in my <laughs> opinion like i think if, if i had to think of the funniest moments from 2019 <laughs> it would be nothing that we did but something that our employees something i said, said honestly <laughs> that the shaytards uh what let's play was that it was an animal that was crossing. animal crossing okay. that, was, that moment that was, was either the one where pretzel gate happened it or wasn't the one i don't after. think it was the pretzel gate pretzel was gate was, was my favorite after. moment yeah. of the year <laughs> jackson now you're, you're stepping on some toes here when you say that i hope you know that People, people don't. A forget lot pretzel of people gate. got mad. Well, are they gonna pretzel get mad again? Because that's what I want. Was pretzel so gate twenty nineteen? Yes, pretzel yeah. Gate was okay. this year. Yeah, oh, that yeah. was like, that was like summer. Did you know when you were June editing July. it that it would cause us that it would cause that much of a of a scruff? It caused the a fans? scruff with me. <laughs> you didn't like it. You don't like the sound. <laughs> then why didn't you edit around it, editor? You're telling me you didn't like the sound of someone chewing pretzels because straight through your ears? The, the me and the fans have to sit through the content. Yeah. So I, it's like an experience. At gunpoint. That was a joke. I think my favorite thing that I did this year for the Let's Place was when I put an Arby's sandwich into a lawnmower. Yes. <laughs> yep. That was great. Well, we did. Did we make you go to an Arby's at like 11 p.m. at night? No. Well, that's what you wanted me to do. <laughs> but I think I got the footage the next day and cracked into it that day when it was still early. And you let the Arby's sandwich just sit there and then eventually you were like, ah, I got I to gotta throw this in the Yeah, lawnmower. yeah, yeah. What was like, the context of that again? Uh, you guys were playing the Arby's level Super, in Super Mario, Mario Maker. Oh, and we were like, you know what, Justin, treat yourself. Go out and get some Arby's. Put some footage in right here. Because Arby's is delicious. That's no. right. And then Justin went through it in his in his big his big old lawnmower. I did, I did. And it was very late at night. How'd you clean it up? I didn't. I thought that part was funny. I left that shit yeah. in my fucking yard, bro. So maybe to this, still to this day, dude, you made some birds very happy the next. Oh day. god, yeah. That. Probably <laughs> made you made some, cats, some, some birds. Raccoons. He got some birds happy. Yeah. Speaking of fu British funny people. foods, Justin had escargot for the first time. Yeah, and so did I. I thought it was very much like a mussel or a oyster. It's a mollusk, yeah, yeah. So yeah, Oyster, oysters escargot. are still my favorite. Like I, I, I love going, getting I, some oysters, putting some hot sauce, some vinegar, oh, wow. some lime juice. Do, do you prefer raw or cooked you, raw, with oysters? Raw, raw yeah. I like same. raw oysters as well. But but you, how would you describe? Very mucusy, right? Like yolk-like would would be. 
the closest thing? Or kinda, how would you describe kinda it? Kind of chewy. Kinda you didn't like, like the... Did you not like the taste or the texture? It was fine, really. I wouldn't have it again. Justin's never had a clam it. or an oyster or anything either. So no, his I first haven't. mollusk was... Was, a was snail. Escargot. Yeah. It wasn't awful. It's um, good. I like it. Is the head still I, on escargot? Like, if you looked at it closely, I, could you, like, p- p- pick I out the head? I can tell you. I feel like it is, but I'm not sure. I, mean, I, I love escargot, I doubt that they though. cut the... The, I mean, they don't really have a head. They just have two eyes. No, they have a, They have like the little antenna. Yeah, they, they have those, but yeah. those are or go inside the body, antenna. don't they? Don't think, they have a mouth too? I kind of yeah, think they have a little mouth. Maybe not. Still had something on it. Yours, it yours had something. Like Dude, that little, was little, good though. What right. was the name of the place he went? End. Uh, uh, petite petite trois. Petit 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 yeah, we, petit we petit had a big uh. Last night we had a big end of year super mega family dinner. It was good. At a French restaurant. It was very good. We got some French food. We got some escargot. We got some... I got some trout. I, I got some, like the appetizers. The, oh, to, yeah. The bread was so I good. I think the appetizers and dessert were where they show them. The entrees were like fine, but I I, was, I, I, I didn't enjoy it. As, like, I was I just like, I'm yeah. going to eat more of this uh, other stuff I ordered. I kind of wish they didn't cover the meal in this, like, because I ordered like a, a steak and they covered it in like this sauce. And it was like smothered and covered in it. And That's I very was like, French, Man. though. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of. I, I don't know. I'm. I'm a We're big a, uh, hash brown. Let's from just have house. the meat type of. St- yeah, I, I don't get know. that. Do you not understand? There's this one place dining. we should try. <laughs> Ryan, we should try this one place called the APL Steakhouse. Where it's okay. like the place in LA that's like supposed to be insanely good. They just <laughs> age all their steaks. Oh, like, oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I'll send you some stuff on it. Okay, but, don't uh, they... Oh, shit. I, th- I think uh, one of my friends was telling me. Do they sell like some of the knives? Yeah. So they make these knives that are like. <laughs> they're like just insanely good knives, but I, the whole they're thing is that shit. Well, but not only that, but like they like check when they give them to you that like if you steal it, it gets put on your tab, and it's like hundreds of dollars. Oh, knives are insanely expensive. When it's like the chef himself makes every single knife. Yeah, so like when you are, what I've heard is when you're training to become like a like a really good chef, you know, when you're an apprentice, you get a knife set, and that's you go like, to basic training. It's like your livelihood of your knives. Basic so. training, <laughs> and then like you like knives can Boot be camp. so expensive. Oh yeah, I would say uh, 2019 is the year I've had the best food I've ever had in my life. Okay. We had when we went to Japan earlier this year. Well, I think Japan has just the best food I've ever had in general. Yes, just, I actually, yeah. it, it got outdone for me when I went to Thailand. Though Thailand had better food, I think. I, I could, I actually oh, okay. could. Okay, I that, see. Though. You just wanted to sneak in that you went to Thailand as well. Mr. We get Worldwide it. Your culture. Over here, okay. Um, my favorite mood is in my mo- my favorite food is in my mother's kitchen. So oh yeah, it is. Wait, what I'm trying to figure out. Paint thinner? <laughs> is it paint thinner? Is that the joke? No. This ain't dinner. This is paint. That's dinner. a good one, though. Your mother's kitchen. Breast milk. No, I'm saying mama's cooking is the best food. There's no joke there, Matt. I'm not always trying to be funny. Sometimes I'm trying to speak from the heart. Well, I'm sorry. You just have such a goofy face. <laughs> Don't think it's okay. That. Yeah, but I, I think that this year, best food ever because Japan, Thailand, Australia, the food Dude, was incredible. Yeah. I'm just kidding. It was just basic. I mean, well, we, we went to that really good Chad place and had really good house. oysters. Well, you get the first, one of the first nights. Yes, the uh, the oysters were good, and the, the that was at the steak place. We got the wine with with yeah. good old Chad, mm-hmm. and I took Justin to get some KBBQ, Ooh. and uh, I think I think next time we might have to eat a bit more. Kazakhstan yeah. barbecue. I could have gotten another two or three more rounds. It's really know. good. I'm that trying to think. Had that spicy pork, that kalbi, that that dude that was uh, bringing us the meat was uh he kept like every time we ordered more he's like oh okay M- more meat because mm-hmm. we went with uh frank and marion and uh frank and marion kept stealing all of the meat off of the off of the plate so justin and i would have to try to order more and we would only get like oh, the I raw pieces because they kept taking them yeah, and they tapped out before us so, like, so then we finally got a chance finally to got order your a few rounds yeah, yeah. But Dude, KBBQ is so good. I only eat at K-Town enough. There's so much good food K-Town there. K-Town is the best food. And every time I go, I try a different restaurant because there's like just there's so many. such a massive wealth of types of di- places there. Like my favorite one is that one that we go to. I think Harrison found it, but it's like the kind of underground feeling one where it's like. Oh, where it's like wood on yeah, the inside? No, but it's like a, it's like concrete. Are you talking about the one that like there's like draw- writing all over the wall? Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. one. It's so cool, though. I and then that's called the place is amazing though. And then there's those places that do the big like bowls where they they like heat this big bowl and there's like hot pot, right? No, no, no. no but no, there's no. like it's like cheese and popcorn chicken and a what? bunch of other stuff. Yeah, basically, it. imagine a bunch Ryan, of popcorn like chicken that they just right throw cheese and corn on and it just melts. See, I it. usually just go with the classic KBBQ of like ordering like the cooked egg in the pot and then uh, next year some, let's like, do rice. more. Uh, yeah. Well, I I, I want to go to K Town more, get Korean barbecue there more, but like usually the lines are like an hour and a half to two hours for like the really nice places. Oh yeah. 
the, but those places are worth the well, wait. I think. I think next year, now that we are kind of more in the groove of things, we should. We always order food to the office when we're working hard. We should go out for lunch or dinner more next year. You know, just yeah. We should more company dinners well, next year. Not even just that, but like we should. Uh, have more company dinners. You know what well, I'm the only way to do that is with more money from the Patreon. So, hey fans, uh, me auntie, <laughs> send us send us your favorite uh, food recommendations, and we'll try them. I want to go to uh, Little Ethiopia because I want I, I want some Ethiopian Ethiopian food. food. Good. I've never had like real Ethiopian food. That oh my- is my favorite thing about LA is just how much different food you can try. Ethiopian food, you like eat it with your hands, and basically everything is like it's like ground beef. What's like ground beef and stuff? But it's like very it's thin just like eating with your yeah, hands. Yeah, it's like this thin yeah. bread. Like it's like thin. What bread. is this? Fourteen thirty three. Well, I was gonna say Fortnite for some reason. <laughs> what is this? Fortnite? No, it's like it's. Like a lot of <laughs> what is this? I'm pretty sure it's like ground beef and stuff. You put on bread. Or a yeah, fish. That is true. When you're eating a flopper or a slurp fish, you are, fish, you what are about eating a small with fry. Your hands. Oh, true. Well, or an apple, no, okay. or an apple, or mushrooms. That's true. Mushrooms. Matt, are we ever gonna make that Fortnite album? Oh fuck, I forgot about that. Uh, since like two years ago, bef- back when I lived in South Carolina, me and Matt have talked about making a Fortnite parody album <laughs> with like 50 songs, with like on so it. many songs on it, and they're so funny to me <laughs> we've written a lot of them we gotta do this first Maybe. of all we we did a parody of that's what i like by bruno mars but it's lucky for you I played that's what Fortnite, started it and we, we wrote oh. the whole thing we have all the lyrics lucky for like, you i play thing. Fortnite. i don't think you have the right to to join jackson until you yourself get a victory royale well, here's the thing ryan jackson got two this week while matt hasn't uh you know, gotten a victory royale right, no, or even played no, a match of no, Fortnite. No, 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 no. He I spent more money Shut than up, I have Jackson, <laughs> spent up. in three years of playing Look Fortnite. Look at his skin. You haven't played a single game with us yet, Matt. Well, but you have so some funny, nice skins, like, I must say. I finally got Matt into the game when we were. Which tour was that on? Was uh, it the New York Northeast, Northeast yeah. tour? Well, okay, so I, I got was, Matt so excited for it. So then, before, so while we're on tour, I got Fortnite on my phone and. <laughs> Uh, my plan was when I got back to LA, I was really gonna get into it. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna start buying skins and stuff and weapons and shit. So, but you don't need to buy skins. So I bought no. a lot of skins. I Except bought fish stick. I bought a lot of skins. Oh, every fish tour. stick skin. And I, I never ended up playing. So I have a Fortnite account with a lot of nice skins. I you got the John Wick us? skins. You, you did get the John Wick skin. But, I mean, we could have a full I, squad. So like, this could be on. a full squad. I think oh I'm just God. self-conscious because I'm bad at it. Man, who so cares? I, I, Dude, I was bad. Like, and then I got two victory royales and solos in a row, and then. I mean, I, I got a Victor Royale this morning, too. You know, that really? Was, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Justin, have you got one yet? I've gotten a bunch, yeah. With him and our friend Kelly. What about solos? Ha. You got one solo victory. I did. Okay, there I we did. go. The beginning yeah. of season two. But see, here's the thing. like, or, Sorry, season one, chapter two. I hate The how very much first game. <laughs> I hate how much I well, come back like to 50% Fortnite. of the lobby is bots, Justin. Sorry, continue. No, uh, go on. No, but um, I hate how much I play the game, but, like, I've never played an online game that keeps me coming back, like, for as long of a time. Because when it's I was younger, I played games game like play. Modern Warfare 2 and, like, a bunch of stuff where I would put in just, like, hours and hours and days on end. But, like, now I'm trying to play Death Stranding, um, the new Star Wars game, Control. Like, all these games that I've wanted to play all year are just, like, this big-ass backlog. And it's like, ooh, I'm going to play Pokemon and Fortnite. And it's like... You yeah, have been playing a lot of Pokemon. I've been playing a lot of Sword and Shield. But, but uh, okay, how about this? How about we go around and we each say our, 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 fa- our favorite game of the year. Yeah, oh, we should go around. I like starting that. with Matt. We'll go then me, and then we'll go around Justin, and then ja- Jackson. Let's Sorry, actually, I almost forgot your name. Let's do a little trend. Let's do that, and then afterwards we can do movies, music, okay. all then, that stuff. Yeah, uh, okay, games, and we'll, the movies, the music. So we'll do yes. So let's. It'll go games, and then we'll go the opposite way to have some fun with okay. it. Okay. Oh, oh, but, oh. It, but it always starts with your boys having fun. You know the big boys, the big ones. Okay. Um. So favorite game that released in 2019. Mm-hmm. Or that you played oh, in 2019. Are we doing only one, or are we gonna like? I, like, I don't want to even say that like it came out in 2019. Just what's the what's your favorite thing that you've played in 2019? Because I feel year? like I mean it's okay. your year, right? Yeah, so yeah, and yeah. and you could also introduce people to games that didn't come out in 2019 as well. Shit. If, um, if if it were one. Damn, this is hard. But I do have a 2019 game already. I, I might do and two. I might do like one that I came know, out this really year, it's and one the one that like two. came back and played this year. Okay. Okay. So first, Matt. Shit. Hold on. Give me a second. Uh, I actually need to think about this for a second. I'm surprised you're not Damn. jumping right to the one that I thought it would be. But I guess Wait, you haven't. What is it? What is it? I'm, I'm just like, I'm pulling a blank right now. Link's Awakening? You haven't played much of it, though. It's not my, it's not my favorite. I, I think also, like, that's a game, 
as much as you love it, it's you've played it before. Wait, so wait it's what's like, what's what? it was a Switch game. I really fucking love Luigi's it. Mansion. No, Pikuniku. I think so. Yeah. This is the the co-op one. The puzzle one. Little, like where your shapes. Little yellow dude. Little pink dude. Running around. Puzzle solving. I'm really pulling a, a blank here. If we said it, would you be like yes? Yeah. It's not Pikuniku. That's I could say that. I like that a lot, but, but it's not. But the one you're thinking of right now is not. But it's I, definitely a I Switch game. I feel like game. I remember you talking about it actually. And now I can't think of what. I'm it gonna was. be so mad later. Did you? Was it a digital download or was it a cartridge? Do we have the you, you, the switches back at your place? Can you there? guys come back to me actually? Can okay. we skip over to Jackson? No. Can we uh, come back to me? Yeah, yeah. And I I got one. All right. Let ja- let yeah go. Sekiro, 100. Yep. percent Ooh. Like I had a blast watching you play it on the channel. It's such a good game. Like even I think. What solidified it for me was playing Fallen Order and seeing how the combat kind of was sloppy compared to Sekiro. I'm not trying to say it should have been the same thing, but it shows like which combat system you can become more fluid in. You're slandering Game of the Year 2020 right now, bro. Uh, game, <laughs> Fallen Order came out 2019. But games that come out at the end of the year carry over into the next There's year. There's no way that has year. a chance at being Game of the Year 2020. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Not when you got Doom Eternal, as a, I was about to say Assassin's Creed, but it's <coughs> Animal Halo Crossing Infinite. and Halo Infinite, by the way. But Sekiro 100%, my game of the year. I recommend it. I loved it. And you've seen me play games. I'm not too great at games. So if you're if you're scared of playing it because of the good old From Software difficulty, then I'd say if, if, if Ryan from Super Mega can beat it, I can beat it too. That's, that's what you should... You should check out that game. I recommend it. I we played it. the whole thing on the channel. If you want to go watch our series, that, that was, was that was a fun ass journey. That was the, uh, oh, the yeah. first thing I ever did on the channel. Also, like with you guys. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah. I forgot you jumped in some episodes of that. I did that. Remember we uh, we pranked you, Matt, with that one boss. We, yes. we pranked you with the Miss Noble. I also got you with the the horse where I made you go oh, in yeah. that battlefield. I remember that. was that. good. Yes, I think yes. I, I th- so yeah. I, oh, you told me about that part like right when I was around that point in the game that you <laughs> yeah. did that to him? And then Justin, I mean. Favorite game that was released this year was Sekiro as well. Uh, you we, and I were like, we Justin and I would like, those, call those each other times, and fight bosses yeah. at the same time. We'd be like, fuck, for hours. Sometimes dude. there would just be silence. Hours. <laughs> and then eventually, like I remember like some of the calls, there would just be silence. Then Rain would be like, <sighs> Okay, I'm going to bed, dude. Yes. Like one of us would just be like kind of done. Our, our spirits would be broken. What else? Because what else came out this year that we liked? Like other than Sp- Sekiro, no, Spider Man was last Spider-Man year. Spider Man was 2018. Red Dead was 2018, though. Yeah. So if we were talking about 2018, yeah. then it'd be Red Dead. Like, yeah, but no we ain't talking about no, 2018. We ain't, we ain't. So no, yeah, my favorite was Sekiro, but uh, I played a lot of Sonic Mania this year, which is my favorite game of all time. Wait, what we game was played on the channel? Sonic Mania. Oh yeah, I want to play it on the channel with you. We will. I actually okay. I think I can answer. Okay. Wait, I've, but we're going in a J- Jackson. Sorry, you lost your turn. Yeah. God, come I on, mean, guys. it's it's hard because so I haven't played Control yet, which was one of my most anticipated games of the year. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. And you know, I've loved a bunch of indie games because I've been trying to, as of late, because I'm trying to get more into game development, focus on playing more indie games. So like. I loved Swery's The, You're the Missing. the next notch that you've been saying this. Yeah, of course. For multiple reasons. But uh, The Missing by Swery, I, I played just <laughs> on his ear. God damn it. Like, I like it, like, that took you tried just to a be- second to register in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Matt, actually. Continue, Jackson. So it's not Control because you haven't played it. No. You're, you can't you can't say a game you didn't play. Um, no, I won't. But um, Quantum Break, I finally did play this year w- because I got an Xbox One at the beginning of the year, and that was one of my favorite games but here's the thing even though i haven't beaten it i can tell you without a shadow of a doubt that my game of the year is death stranding <laughs> like that's not even i, I, don't, I don't have to think about it like I don't death think, stranding i'm so many hours into it but not far all into the game because i just well like are you in still that first like this kind of second area after after lake not i've done the lake not part yeah i'm like oh because like here's the thing i'll play the game for like six hours and literally I'll only just do deliveries because it just it feels nice to me. The world is so just beautiful to walk mm-hmm. around. Playing music is so nice and just building things around. And it's like visiting. And Jeff granted, I would have beaten and, it and, if uh, I'd had a uh, Conan O'Brien. Yeah, and Conan yeah. O'Brien. I haven't had much time to play it either. I think because just the last month has just been so Fortnite's busy for coming me. Coming back, you well, because I got that in Fallen Order, which I've been playing a lot of, and um, I don't know. There's so many games I've played this year. I just can't think of 
what my top ones are because like things just aren't coming to mind is the issue i didn't play that many games this year honestly well not I, it's been a weak year for game releases i, I, think. I disagree yeah. i think this year's been very strong t- for game i think releases. 2018 was stronger in terms of like the games that kept me and like i was addicted to i don't know i mean Technically, didn't Quantum I, I, Break come out in 2018? Oh, yeah, Quantum Break's an older game. I think That's it was like 2018. You got Red Dead Break Redemption 2, Spider Man. What else came out in 2018? No, it was weaker than, than the last year for sure. I agree like, with that. They also. Last year. I think it was a strong year still. It, it would have it contended with last year if uh, Doom and oh, like, if, Animal Crossing was all If Animal Crossing gets stuck around. Year, I can like, already guess what my game of 2020 is going to be. Animal Crossing? <laughs> um, yeah. Can I? Can I? Uh, what? I, th- I think I because I didn't play oh, that also, many games. Also, sorry, one I forgot. Sorry, Luigi's Matt, Mansion Three. <laughs> I feel like you guys just played on the channel. That was I think Luigi's Mansion Three is a one. I was surprised oh, so at how fucking incredible Luigi's Mansion Three was. Can I? Can I? Even though if I didn't play them, can I still use games that I watched you play on the channel that I was a part of? Yeah, why oh, not? Oh, Kingdom Hearts Three is what you were gonna say. No, I was gonna say <laughs> uh, I had so much fun with Resident Evil Two. That was fun. And oh, yeah, that was, this that was this year. Year. Yeah. It Just turning off all the lights. Sometimes yeah, having Tucker great. come in. And then also, I think... Not you, Jackson. Tucker. Here, here's Prescott. the thing. Is, we are different people. It's not by are any we? means a 2019 game, but this was the year I played the most GameCube Animal Crossing since I was a kid for the channel. Oh, yeah. And, and that really has been probably my favorite which is very generic for me to say. Like, Ooh, Animal Crossing. There, uh, no that and Piku Niku. No harm in it. Piku no Niku. Uh, I really enjoyed that game when it came out. Um, I liked Ape Out. I thought Ape it was, out was a, it was a fun, fun spot. I, I finally I beat that, that last final level where you have to rescue the baby gorilla. Aww. Like I re-downloaded I was like, I just, I, I don't feel like it's, I'm complete if I don't, if I don't get you gotta this. Do it. You I gotta get do that. It. Yeah. Cause it's like, right. Ryan's very incomplete. It's like an I am too. I'm, I hate how much of a completionist I am. Cause that's my issue with completionist. If I'm not, yeah. Gerard the Creationist? I, I, I talked to you guys actually. I'm, I'm leaving Super Mega to work for Gerard. <laughs> okay, go for it, buddy. He's, I mean, he's making, he's literally remaking every single old video, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's Why remaking, is he doing that? Uh, I think his it's partner fun? left. I think his partner left, so he's gonna, he's just remaking every single video and replaying yeah. every Five single Five years game. from now, you guys are just gonna do frame by frame remakes of the Let's Plays, I bet. We'll see. Well, you're gonna edit them, so. Hell yeah. So, <laughs> you're the one who makes sure it's frame for frame. <laughs> Ryan? I already said mine. Oh, now we're doing movies. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. So far, real quick before we move on, I yes, just remember the Jackson. game I think you would like a lot, Ryan, this year. <laughs> wait, what? A game? A, a game you'd like a lot is Katana Zero. I'll Katana you, Zero. Which is like, it's, so it's an indie game. It's kind of like Hotline Miami, but more like a hack and slash. Okay. It's by uh, Devolver, but it's okay. like, you're, you're just like a guy with a katana going through levels, and it's like each room's a different level, and it's like you have to stealthily kill all these guys Ooh. and like throw things, stuff like that. It's not the one, okay. It just, it, like, because I thought back to that and I was like, oh, that was this it's year. That's called something. Katana Zero. Yeah. There's also another game called, I think, Judgment. It's by the people who did. I, that sounds weird. Who did a. Uh, no, 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 no. No, no. <laughs> no yeah, 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 that's the one. That's no, a classic. I, I, it's the people who did the Yakuza games, or it's very similar to that Ooh. of the Yakuza games, where you're like in Shinjuku and oh, it takes place in Shinjuku. Oh, wait. Yeah, I know what you're talking I about. I meant to play that, but I never got I around to it. Oh, I also played... That. I just I played, played more Sleeping Chrono Dogs. I, I didn't beat it, but I did play a lot of Chrono Trigger in my room, and I really fucking love playing that this year. Oh, yeah, that's a... I've been loving watching you play that, like, I'll just come over to your room and hear the music, and, like... The music's so It's just so cozy just to listen to that. Oh, and now... Oh. Sight's Adventure. I okay. will throw that out. I fucking love that Well, game. I mean... The, the, the second sequel. one's coming out soon. Verse two, it's so. on the way, guys. And uh, and now I'll start it, and then we're gonna throw it back the opposite way, uh, going to Matt after me. But favorite movie of the year? Well, uh, we'll talk about more movies, but I'll just say my favorite, and then I'll go get some water because I'm thirsty and I need more water. Thirsty uh, boy, you know. Uh, definitely favorite movie of the year was Parasite. Yes. I think I yeah. thoroughly enjoyed that you movie the most answer. out of any other movie I watched this year. There are a lot of good movies like uh, Lighthouse, Uncut Gems and everything, but I think in terms of my experience, while Parasite does have pro- like I have problems with it, I think overall the voice that came through with the direction was super fun and solid. And yeah, I just had a it was good time so watching good. It. I mean, it's like, it reminds me of being a kid watching like, when you're a kid, you discover that like corner of Korean, like very intense, violent films, like Old Boy or um, uh, I Saw the Devil. Yeah, like stuff like that. Have it's, you seen I Saw the Devil? Yes, I haven't. it's so, so good. good. But it brought me it's back the to best that, where it's movie. like, it's just such a unique style. 
And it's like, yeah, it's it's a revenge style movie, so they're just so good. And he also nails like uh, sometimes in his other movies, I don't I don't agree with some of the tonal shifts. I think it kind of becomes clunky, but I liked the tonal <coughs> shift in this one. And I thought, like throughout the whole movie, I was just guessing. I was like, I didn't know what actually was going to happen. Oh yeah, now. well no, that that's what yeah was so yeah, I, that's why I loved it too. Um, but you okay, should, Matt, you've seen old. <laughs> Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, I, I agree. <laughs> I uh, you've seen Old Boy though, right? Yes, you should. Old see, Boy's good. Have yeah, you seen the, the the Josh Brolin one too? No, <laughs> dude, it's awful. But, um, I hated Old Boy is actually part of a trilogy of like revenge films. That uh, there's two the other ones. Did. There's two other ones. There's Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance and Lady Vengeance, but they're both so cool. So, uh, we should have a movie night. The first one, Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance, is about like I. Th- I have to remember because it's been like eight years since I've seen it, but it's like these people are watching this kid and like the, oh, I won't spoil it, but like basically it's like about these people who are like being good and then something bad happens. Mm -hmm. But the third one is so cool because like there's, I don't think it was the original cut, but the cut the director wanted to make so you can get it. It starts in like full color and like throughout the movie, it just slowly turns black and white and it's really cool. I have to, we'll definitely, let's legit have have like a movie night. Yeah. But I have to give him honorable honorable mention to of a movie. Course. I did like this movie a lot, but this was my favorite movie theater experience. I don't know. It might be. God, I know what it is. No, 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 no. It is. It's gonna be. I'm um, gonna say the same thing. Uh, Midsummer. That's be- not what I was because oh, because, because yeah, the big, the same because thing, the right, big yeah. earthquake happened while because Jackson was watching Midsummer with my I was with my girlfriend. I think you were about Ryan. 30, 40 minutes like, ahead of us. Yeah. But the big earthquake came in California. In California, it was like a, so like you could feel it in the theater. Yeah, we're so underground. Like, you're you're you were I in was the upper, upper theaters. Yeah, yeah. He, was watching, like, he was in the parking lot watching on his phone. And Matt was uh, seeing Toy Story actually at a different theater. <laughs> yeah, I was seeing <laughs> yeah, Toy Story. I saw the chandelier yeah. shake. But I had to. I don't know something about that whole experience really it was set, crazy. Like, made well, me a little was, nervous um, going back. Can I spoil the movie on the podcast? What movie? Um, we, as long as we say spoilers for Midsummer. Okay, sp- it was at the part where those people are jumping off of the thing. <laughs> And so it's like this very just like intense, loud music playing and blaring and like everybody just kind of looking around at each other when the shaking starts. Because at first you think it's part of the movie. Yeah. Because it's like this intense bass well, the is same going. Thing happened with and then me. it's like everybody starts looking around. You're like, what do we do? Do we stay in here? Or do we leave? Because for me, and sp- these are still spoilers, so the time code's still later. But uh, warning again, just in case you fucked up, audience, um, the, the point where the earthquake happened for me was uh the point in the movie after the after her parents and sister are like they're found to be dead in the yeah, home yeah, yeah. and you know when she's crying like sobbing yeah. like in her boyfriend's arms yeah. and it's zooming out of the window with this it's beautiful shot of it's going out the window with the snow and the title comes on and the credits start it's like this like m- song where it gets really intense like oh, and like yeah. all of a sudden everything started shaking I'm like oh shit that's a good bit at first that's I thought people were stomping their feet behind me like ooh this is a good movie like stomping along with <laughs> this the will be good. And I was like damn but uh no it was an earthquake and we all had to fucking evacuate yeah. but uh, I'm gonna go get some more water I gotta but, uh, okay I'll you wanna just take too. a break and we'll, and we'll be right how about those oh. ad reads no no I mean we could put them in right here oh, that's that is insane. true so let's put the ad reads right here get and then the after ad- the ad reads you'll figure out Matt Jackson and, and Justin's favorite movie of the year and then I wanna do music and then I want to talk about Super Mega a little bit. Okay. okay. That sounds good. Bye. All right, here come the ad we'll be right Bye. Yeah. Hey, guys. It's ad read time. Right now, I'm going to do a read for Quip. Quip, makers of the Quip electric toothbrush, wants you to know the one single discovery that matters most for your dental care. It is simply this, that if you have good habits, you are good. That means brushing for two minutes, twice a day, and flossing regularly, no matter what brand you use. Quip makes that simple, starting with an electric toothbrush, refillable floss, and anti-cavity toothpaste. Quip's electric brush has sensitive sonic vibrations with a built-in timer and 30-second pulses to guide a full and even clean. The Quip floss dispenser comes with pre-marked string to help you use just the right amount. Plus, Quip delivers fresh brush heads, floss, and toothpaste refills to your door every three months with free shipping, so your routine is always right. Join over 3 million healthy mouths and get Quip today, starting at $25. And if you go to getquip.com slash supermega right now, you'll get your first refill free. That's your first refill free at getquip.com slash supermega, spelled G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash supermega. Quip, the good habits company. Go get that first refill free. And you know what? I love brushing my teeth so much, I had to make a whole website about it, and I did that with Squarespace. 
man, making websites might be my favorite hobby these days. I make websites for everything. One for my cat, one for my uncle who I'm trying to uh, prove is innocent of some very horrible things that he's being accused of. Uh, all sorts of things. So let's say, you know, you got a podcast, you're trying to rip off Super Mega, you want to spread that out there. Make a website, it makes it professional, and use Squarespace. Check this out, guys. If you go to squarespace.com slash supermega, you can save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using code SUPERMEGA. Now, why is that so great? Let me tell you something. You can make your very own website with artisan design templates, uh, incredible things to build your website with, all sorts of tools that won't make your website look like another one of those, uh, you know, cheap cookie cutter websites. You can do all sorts of things like simultaneous posting, uh, which Squarespace can authenticate with your social profiles and you auto post to Twitter, Facebook, personal brand page, Tumblr, all that stuff. Audio blocks, which uh, support podcasting so you can embed audio on your site uh, and tag the audio for iTunes. Uh, multiple contributors you can do it with your friends, email campaigns so you can send emails to people, uh, traffic overview so you can see all the unique visits, the visitors, page views, the trends over time, you can gain insight into the top traffic sources, products, device types, browsers, and operating systems, and all the content you put on the Squarespace platform is owned by you. No one else, just you. So head on over to squarespace.com slash supermega and save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using the code supermega. I love you guys. We're back from the ad reads, guys. Those were some good ad Those reads. Those were some Don't fantastic you think so, ad reads while we were using the bad Jackson? Ad. I know I'm buying. Matt, put right here what I'm buying. What, or, or, what brand is this week? Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me look it up. And then, Justin, we need you to do the opposite for the second one. You're like, Man, I can't wait to buy me some. So hold on, we're going to give you a... Hold I don't on. pull it up. And I got to go to the email. I mean, you work for the Super Mega brand, so you're also like... You you're know. tied. You don't get paid extra for the ad reads, but you do have to... Uh, <laughs> Help voice us. your support yeah um and you don't have a say in that actually and uh, i think sure. it's gonna be a long long Jackson, time me to- undies. man i can't wait to buy some me on these nope. i've tried sorry, to sorry, have a match when they're sorry, dirty wait, wait. that was last week man dude my teeth have been feeling real dirty since i lost my toothbrush a month ago i might have to go out and get one of those quips and then the next one is uh is squarespace justin talk about squarespace <clears throat> How much we had you, Squarespace two weeks tell in him, a row? Tell them how much fun you have making websites on Squarespace for fun. Hi, I'm Justin from Super Mega, and I fucking love Squarespace. I make all kinds of websites in Squarespace, and I spend a lot of time on it. And I don't regret the purchase one bit. So if you guys are looking for an easy way to make a website, go to Squarespace and uh, give us your money. All right. Well, squarespace.com slash supermega. Yes. Right, right, right. Sorry. Anyway. Squarespace.com slash supermega. Thanks. Thank you, Justin. That'll do. Of course. Um, movies. Yeah, yours. Mine? Okay, so my favorite movie, I'm going to steal from you, was Parasite, for sure. Second favorite movie was Uncut Gems. And then Wonderful. third, I think the most fun theater experience I had was John Wick 3. I was okay. Um, okay. Matt stealing mine right now. <laughs> yeah, I, was I was like excited to talk about that. <laughs> I, I remember d- during the, during the first few scenes of that movie, we were all just like, with, oh! with the book and the yeah, knives Jesus and everything. Fucking, like we were all so Holy shit. Can we John make it a th- thing where we all definitely go see like every John Wick movie yes. together? Okay. Yes. Uh, Matt, are you done? Uh, yeah. Wait, real uh, quick. Are you done, Matt? Honor- well, honorable mentions I got, to about John Wick. Honorable mentions. I really like Midsummer. Toy Story Four was an was fantastic. I love Toy Story. I think that's my honestly my third favorite toy story movie because two <laughs> one four three yeah two one four three okay mm-hmm. um and i really also liked uh i saw a lot of movies that didn't come out this year that i really liked as well but uh i get that because it, it, it's always hard i finally saw burning which came out in 2019 uh sorry 2018 okay i was like oh, so no, it came year. out in 2018 but uh, i finally got around to see burning and i highly recommend that film that i that was a wonderful movie oh okay cool so please Please go watch it. I promise I will. I think I, I think I bugged you for a few days. And I think please did, watch yeah. Burning, and then you never did. It's fine. Whatever, Matt. It's fine. Yeah. Have you seen her? Yes. Jackson? What's your favorite movie of the year, Jackson? Well, so, I mean, I won't say Uncut Gems or uh, Parasite, because those have been talked about. No, you're allowed to, though, if it was your favorite. It's your personal <sighs> opinion. I just, it's hard for me, because I think my favorite movie of the year was still John Wick 3. And I think part of that's because I watched... I hadn't seen any John Wick movies until... It was fun. A few months before 3 came out. So I watched John Wick 1 and 2 and, like, my excitement for John Wick 3 was just, like, <laughs> so fucking high. And, and I saw it and, like... And then Fortnite added the John Wick skin? Then Fortnite added the John yeah. Wick skin. But, no, it literally surpassed all my expectations that, like, 
I had for the movie. It was so good. Like, oh my god, dude, the, the scene in the knife store is just so cool. I was I've never been that jazz in a movie theater. Other in that scene in the knife store in John Wick Three was the most intense I've ever felt in a movie theater. That the most have, fun I've ever had. That might have been the my favorite scene. Well, that or the whole where he just beat up that dude with a book in that the library. Dude, God, just with the, the whole, beginning, like, <laughs> yeah, the whole beginning of the movie. Oh my God, dude, the whole like, oh my God. Great movie, it, it, great I, fucking movie. I think for me, like it kind of... TikTok, John. No, it didn't, it didn't falter, but like I became a little less interested during the main part with like when he's the, in the dog. Desert. No, it was like the dogs going out in I the that, desert. Yeah. But like I think the beginning it, and the It's definitely front loaded, I, like. I think. The ending, oh, the ending was Oh fun. my God. Yeah. It's, it's just one of those movies where you There's just go no, in knowing that you're I'm watching so, a John Wick movie. I fucking love John Wick so much. God. <laughs> I'm back. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm back. You pissed, John. Yeah. Dude, next year, fucking Matrix 4 and John Wick 4 come out the same day. R Wait, what comes out the same day? Ma Matrix the new Matrix and, and the Wick. new John Wick. Oh, that's good marketing. Dude, that's, that's like, a good day. Because they're doing Keanu. double features in a lot of those theaters. That's a good day for oh, Charity, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Keanu Reeves gives oh, so much Oh my God, money. how could we have forgot? That is once a solid movie. The ending of that movie is probably my oh, favorite. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like my favorite ending to a movie this year and the irish like the last good. the last i haven't seen the irishman yet yeah. i still have to see a Mar uh, marriage story I waves and irish there's a lot i didn't see but uh once upon a time i love so much because i think you know this is my first full year in like la and it really did make me feel so excited and happy to live here because i think they filmed like, like a there was a lot of like moments seeing that chili john sign yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where like they were like driving down even just on uh, the highways i'm like wait i, I know exactly well, like, where it that makes is it so happy i'm like it makes it so like glamorous and yeah. glitzy i'm like and when they eat we've eaten at both those restaurants that they ate in yeah. or have you been to I only went el to coyote the, we went no yeah. wait no the one he with hasn't the lobster? been no, we, we, took met, prezzo we took prezzo coyote, there yeah and i took my girlfriend there and i went there once also maybe with carson you went there a lot I've been there it's three times. <laughs> well, cool. But uh, Justin? Justin, do you have a favorite movie that you've uh, seen this year? Remember, it, it doesn't have to be a movie that came out in 2019. It can be a movie that you just saw that you well, really uh, like and want to give light to. It's an indie movie, to. so you guys might make fun of me. It's a what movie? It's an indie movie. Have you seen Pulp Fiction? Indie movie. I mean, uh, te uh, technically... Watch that be what he was going to say, Matt, and you just insulted him. <laughs> yeah. That's not a... <laughs> well, I know you guys wouldn't have heard of it, so it's just kind no, of... No, say it. Talk about it. Well, it's a movie called Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> oh, dude, hell yes, dude. Fuck okay. Yeah. Did you watch Hobbs and Shaw? No, I haven't seen I it. I actually uh, saw uh, that. How but was it? I honestly, like, it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. But the part where they do fight, the Samoans fight. That's the, all I want to see. Th that, that is, I haven't seen it. But. I I'd say just uh, just watch the movie, uh, fast forward to that bit. Okay. Because that's a lot of, that's some fun. Right, but just, uh, just do you have one? Actually, it was, uh, I'm sure people will tear me apart for it, but it was Endgame. But it wasn't because it was like the best no, movie ever. I remember you and I went to but go was, see that in Santa Monica the, at the Arclight. It Arc was because Light. of the experience that like the whole MCU is sort of like, you can almost think of it as one just big story, like yeah. one big movie, right? And that was the climax to just a huge story that was being told. I don't think it's going to build itself up. The MCU is no. going to build itself up to have that much. It'll you know, keep going. No, it. no It'll time. still be popular. There's a lot of, a lot of potential, but, this but was, like this that was the, that was the, that, there will not be a movie in the MCU as big as Endgame. No, never, never. I think Endgame was the one that's the where it's game. like it solidifies it, really it as a pop culture like phenomenon where it's like they they, they pulled too, it off. Maybe? They pulled they off from Iron Man to Endgame, even mm -hmm. though quite a few of those movies are very questionable in the dark yeah. world thor the dark world no, i didn't, didn't particularly like i didn't like thor well i didn't like a lot of them i didn't like ant-man that much you didn't like ant-man i didn't like ant-man okay wait i didn't like you, uh wait wait what what's going on sorry Matt? i actually you turn your phone on silent no or i, I, I was, surfing the web and you talking on no, I, had, I had spotify open and i accidentally clicked a song yeah yeah, yeah. we're not okay. we're not at music um, yet sorry, sure next what were you two saying that we're talking before you were interrupted uh end guys yeah good movie yeah well Great, uh, great movie, but also just a great experience that uh, I will carry with me for the rest of my life. Because like that was my yeah. first time coming out here, planned the whole first trip around it. Oh, that's right. This also, was your first time in LA. It was this year, right? Mm -hmm. April. Damn, that's uh, crazy. We planned it three times this year. Yep. Damn. Uh, have to double that next year. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Um, but yeah, just just we planned the whole trip around uh, the yeah. movie. Like when I was going to come out was around I watching the movie, and uh, yeah. No, it was Endgame. It was cool. fun for me too because I hadn't seen like half the Marvel movies until like a month before Endgame came really? out. And I was like, "Ooh, this looks actually fun!" So like, I marathoned all the Marvel movies, which like you know, 
They're not great, th- no. th- but they're fun. Yeah, exactly. That's what well, some of them are actually like. Iron. I think Dude, fun, good Thor, comedies. And Thor stuff. Ragnarok is That's, like I have fun with that. So much 100. fun, yeah. Including, I think I like the first Guardians. Still, the first I Guardians I love. Watch. Second, I, sometimes I don't like, remember the second. Put it away, Matt. I'm sorry. <sighs> um, second was the one with daddy issues, man. Iron Man is still the best best movie in the whole MCU, though. Yes, I've seen Iron Man like four forever. times and never finished it. The first, first one, one or which one? First one, yeah. Bro. I've got like two. I love the first, first Iron Man. Man. So that brings me back to being a kid. Like Terrence Howard. 2008, right? 2007. Was I watched it 2007 or Was it? I think it was 2007. Did it come out yeah. the same year as Halo 3? I think it did. Damn. That's a good year. Steve never got to experience the MCU. No, dude. he didn't. R.I.P. Uh, Rest uh, in peace, Steve Irwin. No. Neither did my grandma, but I guess that's not <laughs> important, guys. Was it's she Steve? not. Well, did she know Steve Irwin? No. She... Then don't even mention her in the same breath. What about Steve Urkel? <laughs> I love you, Grandma. <laughs> hey, 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 Grandma. Let's, uh, my friend Shane Dawson. Jackson, let, let's... Uh, you want to move on to music? Let's do music, yeah. So you're starting, and then to me, and then we're going to go sure. Justin. And then Favorite album yeah. that was released this year. Oh, I got to do my top album. doesn't even have Twitter. to be favorite album. It could be favorite song, whatever. Okay. Uh, well, I'll start with at least favorite album that was released this year. I think is is Igor by Tyler, the Creator. I really like that album. That album was fantastic. That came out right when we were going on tour, um, and I listened to that a lot on the plane and stuff. And um, yeah, let let's see. God, there's a lot. I found this was a really good year f- for music for me. Uh, I had a really big Bossa Nova phase in the summer. Uh, I listened to a lot of Freddie Dread because uh, when, when I was doing the music Who's video, that? You, some some fucking jackass that thinks he can rap. Um, let's see. Oh, I just like a lot a lot of Jacob Ogawa this year. A who's, lot of uh, uh, who's Jacob Ogawa? A lot of Playboy Cardi, hey. a lot of drug dealer, a lot of uh, a lot of good bands, and um, I also was really into MF Doom this year. I found uh, a lot of good MF Doom I'd never heard before. Oh yeah, um, guy named Emmett James. A lot, a lot of, a lot Who? Of, I don't know either. A lot of good music though. Um, so I think my favorite album overall released this year was was Igor, okay. probably by Tyler. Because like Tyler, that. I did is, like that album. Tyler is like my all time favorite artist. I think. Or one of them, if yeah. not all time favorite. Flower Boys is like my, my favorite, favorite album, album ever, I've ever yeah. listened to. Yeah. I, That's my favorite album of his. Flower Boys specifically. Is in my, if not my favorite album of all time, in my top three. Yeah. Because it Flower just it all flows together it's so, so well. Good. I think like Flower Boy one, might be my favorite, like in my opinion, my favorite album ever. No, made. it's it's mine for sure. I mean, every every song flows into the next one very well. And it's, it's fucking just fantastic. sort of a full experience mm. listening to it. Uh, soft six out of 10 for me, honestly. <laughs> Anthony? I'll have you know, Fantano gave it a seven out of ten. <laughs> he gave Flower Boy a seven. He did, and Igor got an eight. I thought Igor got a nine. Oh, it shout might. Have. Shout out to Fantano. I think Flower Boy's a lot better than Igor. Fantano didn't review my songs with Frank yet. Yet, so, yet, yet. He's, yet. he's just well, he's been busy. He's been busy working on them because he doesn't. Yeah. He he's afraid of. What <laughs> he's think afraid of, of what I'll say. <laughs> I will rain down fury upon Fantano if I get anything less than a nine. <laughs> yeah, but Ryan. What's your favorite uh, music this year? Yeah. Well, I just, I can't, because I bopped around a lot on, like, just r- random shit. But in terms of a solid, like, album that came out, um, of course, oh. I know, like, this is going to be very obvious, but it was an Aurora album. Uh, a different kind of human step to. Uh, I just, I just like driving along to a to Aurora. She has a very beautiful voice. Um that's i mean i don't know it's just something as simple as just someone who can sing really well just like that pulled me in right away so it's just the simplicity of that and some of her songs uh like have like good beats in the back where you wouldn't expect it because you expect her to kind of be like this flower child just very simple and all since there'll be songs that actually kind of make you uh groove to the rhythm and i'm like oh shit like churchyard is one of hers didn't come out on this recent uh album i think that's just an example but in terms of like other music i mean i just have a bunch of shit that i found throughout the year but i will give credit to matt because back in november of 2018 he recommended me the idea of starting little monthly playlists to keep track of like my music throughout the year yeah 2020 probably i just finished uh, my second year of full playlists for every single this is my first year of completing from january 2019 until it feels good right because then you can go back when you're 40 or 50 and be like this is exactly how i was feeling that time it's the music i listened to it can bring me back to that specific month exactly yeah 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 yeah. and you can see like how you were doing each month of the year i'll be like oh this month i was driving a lot in uh like on my road trip last year so there's a bunch of country music in there and shit like that like 
like we were touring here. This yeah, a lot of songs I'll, linked to Texas where I'm like, oh yeah, that's the month. Yeah, yeah there's like, Texas. I have a lot of ones from when we were in like New York, ones from Texas, and it's like, oh, that, that was in there because we listened to that song a lot in Texas on tour. Oh, we we joked about this song. Like for instance, when we did the Southeast tour, that's when Old Town Road was big. So that's yeah. in that month for when we did the Southeast tour. It's like, oh okay, that was that that was that point. Um, yeah, I could see months I was more sad, months I was more happy. But yeah, for me, definitely that Aurora I will album, lie. a different kind of human step too, and. Uh, Justin, you're next. Everyone's gonna make fun of me, but my favorite. You, you album. no one's gonna make no. It's about everything, I, Justin. You, you can't say that. Don't say that as well, a cushion. No, it's not people, a cushion. People out of what you I, like. People Justin. who are gonna I'll, make I'll fun of you about, are gonna make fun of you. People. I'll, I'll talk about movies and shit, whatever. But music's very, very, very personal to me. BTS? So I don't like. Absolutely, <laughs> dude. By far. Uh, yeah. What's your favorite BTS track? I can't pronounce it. Why not? Um, Korean's not that hard to pronounce, Justin. Just just oh, sound okay, it out on Mr. Uh, linguophile. Linguophile? Because <laughs> you love language. Yeah. Don't call me that. But <laughs> <laughs> Fine, Dude, since you love feet so much, noise. I'll call you a pedophile. <laughs> oh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm big into feet, uh, yeah, so I guess I, I call myself a bit of a pedophile. Dan Schneider? Wait, what was the joke we made in the car today about feet? Uh, something orth... You, you said you said orth, orthopedic Jews. <laughs> <laughs> And I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> that was good. Anyway, so, Justin, Justin, sorry. what is your favorite <laughs> album or, or track of the year? Uh, my favorite album that came out this year was uh, uh, Jesus is King, because I don't know if you remember, oh but God. I was waiting for it. Like I actually time. like that album, because like, I'll I be driving it. along with it, and all of a sudden, like, these wonderful, like, this wonderful choir will come out, and I'll just be like, damn, this is great. Judge me all they you want. They don't make Christian music like damn, this anymore. I loved that album, because I, I, just, I just remember waiting for it to drop, and when it finally did, I, I I listened to it on Spotify the within like the first 20 seconds that it was public and I had the biggest smile on my face. I took a picture of it and it was that. I think the most Aww. genuine smile Aww. I've ever had in my life. That's sweet. Um, I did that with Igor when you were working out. I actually like, I, I, immediately I did that with, with Life of Pablo. It's a picture I posted that day of me like listening to it crying for the first time. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> I, I know that album, picture. Yeah, yeah, you're that like, picture is still on awesome. yeah, it's it's my like, Twitter or my Instagram or something. He has like tears in his eyes. Wait, Wait really? It's such a beautiful fucking oh thing, man. But yeah. Uh, I think just this year in general, I, I got really heavy into uh, a lot of Mac Miller stuff, and uh, I don't know, like that. I think over Jesus is King, that's yeah. my favorite thing musically that came out of this year was just kind of connecting with all that music and uh, just listening to it, like discovering a lot of it. And uh, now that's probably eighty percent of my Spotify uh, top twenty nineteen songs was was stuff by him. So, nice by Mac Miller. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. I still I still haven't listened to much Mac Miller. I actually all I it's know very is I love like, college. That's it, all I know. It's it's very like you either really like it or you're, or you're just not into it. I yeah. I'm into like almost all of, all of the stuff, but uh, I, I tend to gear more towards the uh, the more like I guess emotional stuff, not like the, yeah. the frat rap that he kind of started out doing. I get um, that, but you know. Next time you come, we should plan your visit around a concert. Ooh, I'm, would you guys believe me if I told you I've never been to a concert? Damn, what? really? Yes. Yeah, so, okay, life. so next time you holy come, shit, let's. Just Keep an eye out. You'll love it. You're surrounded by people. You can't hear what other people they're are sweaty, saying. They're sweaty. They're smelly. <laughs> they're are pushing we, you. It's fun as fuck, though. Are we going to try to do the Sonic movie for my next trip? Yes. It comes out in February. February Can we all go see Val the Sonic Valentine's movie? Day. for? Yeah. Uh, or wait, if it's Valentine's Day, that's, that's the day before my birthday. It can be an early birthday, birthday gift. I want to see Sonic. It's an early birthday gift. All right, Jackson. Well, you don't follow Sonic? I guess we'll go We'll take Ty well, dude. We should take him to see like Tyler or Kanye or something. Well, technically, if Kanye, would be it comes out Valentine's Day. So right? if it comes out the thirteenth at midnight, like going to the fourteenth. Well, it'll come out the third. Like it'll usually Thursdays starting around yeah. like set like dinner time. They'll if, start. If we go to a times. premiere, do you think me Sonic and Matt will might be, there be busy? Q and A panel afterwards. Wait. I'm I'm sure if you truly if you, if you wish it to be yes. What, what's going on? What are you what are you what are you doing this for? Is there is there a monster behind the washing machine? We hear somebody. It's the washing machine. Okay. Oh, the washing machine's going? No, that's what I was okay, saying. Okay, so yeah. I, I just heard sound, and I was like, what is no, that? No, like the ch, -ch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. I just noticed that. For but the yeah, maybe they um, stopped there's because four they heard of us. us listening in. There's four of us let's in look here. Let's look so. at concerts around that time, if not do, do, that do, do time. I need, do you want me to go check around the house just to make sure? No, no, I just didn't know that it, the washing machine Sure. Because they so could have like, stopped because they're, we're listening out, and now they're tiptoeing around. We're like joking, but there's like actually like a group of people. I mean, the door was unlocked. Stealing our TVs and shit. Right? The door's unlocked? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, okay, yeah. Let's uh, let let's talk about uh, before we end this thing because it's the year in view. Let's talk oh. about wait, wait, wait. Oh. 
No, 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 it's fine. No, we can't. We can't. We can't skip our boy. He it's Jackson's to... turn. Oh, I forgot you didn't go yet. Uh, Damn, Matt's me bro. This look what and the he's fuck? like, oh, oh. <laughs> Go well, on, Jackson. Well, we're waiting. It's okay. We appreciate you. Buddy. Well, anyway, yeah. um, I was going to say 2019 was a big year for me getting into country music and just listening to a bunch of older shit I'd never listened to, like, like Darius Buck Rucker? Owens and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> but my favorite album of the year was Nick Cave's new one, Ghosting. Um, Nick Cave is my favorite musician. And it's really cool because he does a bunch of like spoken word and shit on it. Um, it's just very like dark, ambient, um, yeah. post punk, gothic stuff. Like Hobo Johnson esque. Yeah, exactly. like Hobo Johnson. Dude. Yeah. Fuck, fuck Kanye. It was Hobo Johnson for me, bro. <laughs> no, and then, but my favorite track of the year was actually Panini by Lil Nas. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> dude, good I one. like Panini, and I like a. Uh, was it just called Old Family? Road? Family's a good song. Yeah, has that uh, for me? Family kind of has a uh, like the the type of music that was coming out with like uh, Smash Mouth and uh, who did uh, the Cars. Uh, shit, bro! Really? Yeah, Rascal Flatts. Rascal Flatts. Man. I don't know why. Family, family gives me that vibe of like that type of music, where it just like when he's singing the main chorus, it just sounds like that type of song. That was definitely the song of 2019. Was was Old Town Road, and it's crazy oh, because far. he. Think about this, dude. That's he my came fucking out of nowhere. most listened to song this he, year. This guy comes it. out of nowhere. <laughs> this guy RH comes out of nowhere. Memer. and he makes a song that literally becomes the number one song of <laughs> all time. <laughs> Sorry, Jackson did a really good joke. Go on. He made the this guy comes out of nowhere and in the span of one year makes a song that is the number one song, charting song of all time ever. That's bananas. B A N A N A. Who else is bananas? Squarespace. No, we're done with that. No, we're done with <laughs> <laughs> They already got that. Anything else? Any any more music? Um I mean there's a bunch. I like the new toy album, just a bunch of good like post punk. But like Sean Mendez you liked. Oh, love it. No I mean, I don't know. This year was a bigger year of me going back and discovering old music than I think finding new stuff. You were into Steely Dan. Dude uh, okay, let Jimmy who Buffett. Wasn't the Jimmy Buffett. Oh, oh Jimmy Buffett was Jimmy my. Buffett. Is Jimmy Buffett who you Jimmy don't Buffett like? Jimmy Buffett was my artist yeah. of the year. No, I like Jimmy Buffett. I don't like uh, Jimmy uh, uh, Springsteen, Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> Jimmy, Dude, Jimmy Springsteen. Springsteen. <laughs> hey, son, you heard the new Jimmy Springsteen album? <laughs> no, I'm not a big Bruce Springsteen. Dude, I, love I don't Bruce. hate Bruce Springsteen. Just not Bruce. I, 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 I knew I'm this year boat. too. Actually, you don't like Bruce. Born I mean, not, in the I USA. I well, yeah, not that I don't like Bruce. Bruce I'm just, I just don't Born really. Born in the USA is like his pop. Fuck with it. I, I, yeah. Justin Stuff actually hates, hates K-pop, either. and he's always talking about it off mic. He, he says he hates BTS and all of their and fans. He's always like, I wish they would come at me. Yeah. Anyway, Justin, <laughs> Justin said, I challenge the all the anxiety, BTS. buddy. He said, I challenge all the BTS fans to find the clip of me using the N-word I hit online. <laughs> oh, it's somewhere. It's oh, sorry. Somewhere. That, that was Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. But yeah, Jimmy Buffett was a big thing. I've been listening to his Christmas album so much. Jimmy Buffett? Jimmy Buffett's the business Christmas man? album? <laughs> Dude, no, Jimmy Buffett's Christmas album is so good. He has that song, Christmas Ho, 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 and a Bottle of Rum. <laughs> Have you ever spent Christmas? Ho, ho, Have you heard ho. this guy called Nathan? Yeah. Who? He's a pretty good Christmas album. Oh, yeah. Fillion? Y'all, we're talking about music. Go check out our, our buddy Nathan. Ha, 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 our buddy. Ha, 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 ha. Um, released it. <laughs> Released his second Christmas uh, album, his friend? and we're so proud of him. No, dude. he's his uncle. <laughs> we're so proud of him, dude. So. Matt, can you try this? I, I haven't said anything for this podcast. This Go water listen. I'm drinking tastes like fucking uh piss sunscreen. <laughs> it tastes exactly like sunscreen. I'm like, oh, every time I have a sip. <laughs> is it special water? It's or from is it IKEA. Just water. Oh, <laughs> hold on. I want to taste this sunscreen water. I bought this at IKEA yesterday. I'm like. It yeah, but good. oh, that is. You're, you're screwing it all the way back. That's sunscreen, oh, man. It's oh. even got the oily kind of. It says like, it's black currant flavored, but like, what? It's not. It's not like very good. No, this is flavored water. Yeah, it's flavored. Okay. Yeah. No, this current. ain't flavored water. This is paint thinner. Black currant. You know what, what a currant is? No, it's like a grape kind of. It's it's when a stream is going in one direction, and it catches you. Really? It tastes like sunscreen, like especially the aftertaste. It just tastes like. Shitty seltzer Essence water. water. Justin, I, I'd give it a swig, but I'm I, I'm I'm really not doing too good down in the because because of the because of the night. snail. The I don't know. It might be because of the had. snail, or it might be because of the fact that the snake was Born literally fucking swimming in a you pool. Justin, grave, you don't have to, not, everyone gets erectile dysfunction. Okay, it's not it's not especially this age. I don't. It, it happens. <laughs> it <just> Never. <laughs> um, but let's talk about SM, social media, BDSM. Yeah, bro. Big dick. You got Superman. excited. What's up? 
Nothing. <laughs> Tell us about it. If you guys start talking, okay. I, I'm literally about to piss myself. Okay, go piss and then we'll come back. Wait. Jack Jackson's gonna piss out of his Jackson. Don't knock over the fucking mic, Jackson. And then we're gonna wrap up the last podcast oh, of the decade. Oh okay. damn, he That's, thick. He's going through the mic. Damn, <laughs> damn, he thick. Wait, we got, we got the favorite memes of the year. Like, oh yeah, we do. Oh, we do. Shit. Favorite memes of favorite the year. memes, and then we'll talk about Super Mega. Jackson, while you were gone, Matt called you gay and said he's planning on firing you. Uh, I mean, quarter next year. I've heard these hollow threats many times. Let's get that union going, buddy. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, we, we can just fire y'all and like what union? Like teachers form unions because okay, so they right, have to teach. What's the reason for firing me? We uh, can come up with something, yeah. Jackson. Very we don't, we also don't need a reason. No, we don't. Is California right to work? Uh, probably yes. But we could just fire you for being incompetent. Yeah. Anyway. I do have videos of Matt pulling his penis out at work, but I'm sure the judge won't care about those. <laughs> Jackson, I have videos of you pulling your penis out at work. There's videos of all of us pulling oh, our yeah. penis out at work. Besides you, you Justin. You need the ones that me, your employee, Justin does not have one. Was told yeah. to, a penis? Are you talking about the videos <laughs> you, you made me film as your employee? Well, what videos, Jackson. Ooh, <laughs> you made me film as you. Can we talk, well, now wait, we're can getting we talk somewhere. about? Can we talk about what well, happened okay, right first, before this wait, podcast? Hey, first, first thing of incompetence on Jackson's part. We're recording a podcast, and he shut the door all the fucking way, so the sound was escaping. Can we also talk about what happened right before this podcast started? I was on the phone with my sweet <laughs> sister. <laughs> that was so much fun, Ryan. Well, I was included in that. I was on the phone with my so, sister. I was working while all this happened. You heard so it, right? I'm, I'm, Did you see it? Yeah, no, I didn't see okay, it. Okay, good. So <laughs> I was on the phone with my sister, and the boys, just not Justin, Jackson and Ryan. Justin was the only one not involved. Jackson and Ryan come, and they start. They pants me all the way, underwear <laughs> included, and then they pull my shirt over my head. They drop me on the ground and then they flipped me upside down while I'm still on the phone my sister and then they took a cold water bottle and poured it down my ass and on my dick I just changed my shirt was a glass of water. Okay, sorry a glass of water and it was cold and my sister was like what's going on I was like I'm being pranked don't worry about it no if everything at first you're like nothing <laughs> I missed all that let's talk about more super mega dough this what has been a saying? really this has been the best year my favorite year of doing super mega so far um it's been so great having both of you guys work with it i, I can't imagine doing super mega without you guys anymore and um basically like we did a lot of fun series a lot of fun games and i think this year we i want to step up live action more but this year we did a lot of good live action we went to japan this year we went to australia we ryan i didn't well so i'm not included here we didn't want you to come, but that we'll talk about. That later. <laughs> um, we went to we did Japan vlogs. Yeah, we fucking Japan did, was my favorite trip of the year. E three uh, in terms of like touring in and terms everything. Of stuff, yeah. Oh yeah, we toured like every A lot. like ma every, every like, major two city. months or so. Yeah, think about that. Like minus Chicago, minus uh, Chi Town, the the Midwest, minus the Midwest, but. But think about it. Like this this year with Super we really did go all over the place. We went to Japan. We went to Australia. We went to so three different continents. Uh, four different countries. We did Canada, America, Japan, and Australia. Yeah. Did all those countries for super mega shit. Um, we filmed a lot of live action in 2019 that is coming out in 2020. I'm excited for one of, I think that it might be our first one off of 2020, which oh, yeah. I don't, I don't want to, I don't even want to tease, action. but I, well, I think that's I'm, gonna, I'm really, I think it's going to be freaking sweet. It's going to be freaking sweet, Ryan. Um, I, but I, having live action in Let's Play is something that, you two started doing a lot I think toward the end of this year which is something I want you guys to do a lot more well now that we have the office it's yeah. more it's it's easier like when yeah. we did the Mr. Yeah. Meaty thing like that wasn't scripted from the no, beginning that was randomly like on the moment. spot the moment like I, uh, we called Matt that out on, nasty. on the bullshit and I gotta say this year has been big for so many reasons this has been like name three okay we left <laughs> our job at Game Grumps mm -hmm. we decided that uh, those guys were lame uh, Two, okay. So no, but, I mean, Ryan and I, since we started this whole thing, have always have always worked for other people while we've been doing it. So Super Mega's always had to be a side thing. But now this was the year that we. So with me and Justin, we all are for now. For now, <laughs> you guys start Super Mega Two. Uh, Super Mega Junior. <laughs> Super Mega Junior. You, you mean Mega Super? 
Ooh, all right. Now we're already. It, it's we're gonna already be like, like one of those dark forms of YouTubers. This is the year we transitioned from um man, man to woman. <laughs> well, that's not, <laughs> not announcing that. Uh, <laughs> this was the year that we we went from working working for other people and having super mega side thing to super mega being full blown. We got our own office thanks to you guys. I'm we started Patreon. Blown. We released more live action than ever. We went around the world and we released a lot of videos. And you can bring that mic down, by the way, Jackson. Jackson, you're like so if you want to sit like that, you can bring the mic down. The I, arms can go pretty. I, low. I'm not really trying to add anything to the podcast. I'm more just low, mouthing low, jokes low, to Ryan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I had a fucking great year, and I can't wait for 2020. Hey, same here. Jokes aside. Thanks for having me come on the team. Yeah, of course. I really man. enjoy it. It's Justin, wish we could say the same, uh, but but you're doing an okay job. So I'm just kidding. I love you, Justin. You're doing a fucking fantastic. You go above and beyond. Yeah. I was telling Justin <laughs> that uh, it, it. I like the fact with him editing our content. There, you stay in line with kind of our vibe, but you also bring in your own personality to where it doesn't feel jarring like it doesn't yeah. feel completely separate well, I'm, I'm like glad. it's not just like hey i'm brent you know just <laughs> <laughs> uh no but, but yeah I'm, I'm i'm glad i was able to kind of pull that off because i was worried about it no dude first you, started. you you gel um, perfectly and and we don't want any other editor to ever replace <laughs> you <gel> perfectly. <laughs> what, what, what you was gel perfect what was everyone's right? favorite video that they were a part of or, or worked on or just well, enjoyed the most before videos justin talked about his favorite edit earlier i want to say my favorite tweet uh yeah aside from thanos day and the monkey month i think my favorite tweet of the year was the string of two where i said et smoke bowl and et get dome <laughs> was i Those think were pretty good. it wasn't magic shoes mad <sighs> the magic Fuck. shoes one was good magic too. shoes was good but <laughs> You know, E.T. E smoke e. Bowl. E. Smoke bowl. My, my, yeah. I think my favorite one you did this year was was the one where it's it's the kid with the gunner glasses on, <laughs> and and it's like, so I just got this badass new pair of gunner glasses, and guess who I see wearing them? Soldier boy. <laughs> and then you tweeted, and you were like, one day into our deal with Gunner, and Ryan's already ruined. <laughs> um, oh man, that was good. That was good. My, I, th I think like because you were asking like what the favorite video we've been a part of, like, like in terms fun, of or, in terms of yeah. series. My two favorite series of the year were definitely um, Res Resident Evil yes. Two and Sekiro. I think Resident Evil Two was this year, right? Or yeah, yeah, that was the first series of yeah. the year actually. SpongeBob, and then, Animal uh, Crossing, a lot Sponge of really big Bob. series. This and year. then my favorite video this was that the best year for Justin, I'm talking. Series. My yeah, favorite I'm video going. that um I was <laughs> <laughs> favorite video that I was uh, a part of was the Shinjuku vlog because yes, I just I I loved uh, having a good old time drunk in, yeah. in in funny Japan. That was the Japan vlog as opposed to normal Japan. Yeah, the Japan vlogs are, are a peak for sure. I'd actually say my favorite video we did this year that I think I had the most fun making was the E3 video. That's another top one. I loved recording that one. And that's Sorry you uh, were there for that, Jackson. But that's okay. I mean, I, it sucks. I was like, you I was were like, away. Oh, you I'm, I'm having fun in Puerto Rico, but it's like, I wish I was there for E3. That was but it's such, like, I just had such a fun time going to E3 and like all of us sitting down and editing that and laughing our asses off at it. I got it. to play uh, Destroy All Humans, the the new re, the remastered version. That, we, was a, that was fun. We got to meet a lot of people. In fact, we have another we have a video we shot at E3 that we it's still gonna come out is it, it's gonna come out in 2020 yeah it's gonna come out in 2020 which but is, there, which there's is, some big people in that one which when you see the video I'm, I'm sure a lot of people will be like it took them this long to get it out it's like yeah it's just didn't been in the backlog well I think it, it's not like taking precedent when yeah much of other projects it's got some it's got some big people in it though yeah, and it's very coming out like people. almost a whole year later from when honestly just release that next year's E3 and be like <laughs> Just call it 2020 E3 video. I mean, we're, I'm sure we can come up with a bit to make the time jump uh, oh, yeah, yeah, feel yeah. natural. I, I also really liked... Um, yeah? Sorry, I, I'm watching a super mega ad. Give you guys money. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, man. give us money. Is that Bill's uh, voice? I'm looking back at series. Like, Think about all the big series we did this. We did Animal Crossing. We did SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. We did Sekiro. We did Resident Evil 2. Sonic Adventure. Sonic Adventure. With Justin. Like so many of our big, Hi, which Miami. each episode has over a hundred thousand views. People love that fucking series. By I know, the way. dude. Hot it's just it's it's it, it's been a, yeah. Holla nah, Miami. Nah, nah, nah. 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 That fucking Jackson, dude. Yeah. Why does he have a lisp? <laughs> he was, talks funny. It's a big yeah. year though. King, don't don't like that. King. Kingdom Hearts three. <laughs> what? Kingdom Hearts. Was that 3? this year? That was What's this up? year? Yeah. Did we really play Kingdom Hearts this year? Mm -hmm. It was February. Well, you can't call that playing, but Justin, what was your favorite video or like what's what's the series you had the most fun or like what do you think was the funniest? <laughs> what what joke did I say that made you laugh the hardest? <laughs> oh, I had to get cut out. <laughs> yeah, Justin? Yeah. Well, hey, repeat nice. it for us, Justin. 
No, <laughs> I'd rather keep that one. Uh, I'd rather keep that one on the old hard drive. I... <clears throat> okay, Justin. Remember that raise we were talking about? No. Okay. Neither cool. do we. <laughs> <laughs> um, who the fuck is calling me? Fuck off. Uh, that could have been, been the president, dude. Justin, I need to try to impeach me, Justin, please. <laughs> Justin, <laughs> Tracy! They are try I was trying to do Bernie Sanders, but that did not Justin, y'all like the wrong Justin. My, name, my last name His is His last Tracy. name's not Tracy. That's the I know. Justin from Real Good Kramer. <laughs> Justin Kramer! <laughs> I wish I wish your last name was fucking Kramer. <laughs> Man, um, Justin Kramer. I just beefed him. I don't know. I think my 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 favorite. Did you really? <laughs> what? Jackson, Jackson, we're almost done with the podcast. Fart? Why did you have to do that? Jackson's oh, farts are the worst. The worst, most toxic. Did you actually? Shit. Are you do? Wait, what time is it? It's because you have to. Leave, you had to leave eight minutes ago. It's eight forty. You have to go, Jackson. I gotta go, y'all. Well, Jackson, <laughs> tell us yours real quick, and then we'll go back to well, Justin. and then you can leave, and then we'll do the rest of the podcast. I was supposed Justin. to leave at eight o'clock. Damn. Um. <laughs> It's a great podcast, though. My favorite uh, thing of the year, I think, in general, was the Japan vlogs. Those are so much fun to film. I had I think, a great time with you boys. I think Shinjuku. Can't wait to go back. Yep. Um, but I think my favorite Let's Play this year was the Armenia Minecraft one, oh. just because the absurdity of that. <laughs> where like I, I saw this tweet. It was just like, but we actually won the competition. We won the, we won the fucking comp like the the development of that. Where it's like, I see this tweet. I sent it to you guys. We're like, oh, let's film this. It's we like funny, that ha -ha. live action, haha, -ha, funny thing. We film these things, and then we win this contest. It's just insane, and uh, well, you'll you'll hear more about that in 2020. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll share our reward. Yeah, and Justin, you still didn't. Uh, oh, that's right. Mention a series or Jackson, a video you can, that you, you can leave if you want. I mean, he, uh, I'll, uh, I'll I mean, call mainly, Uber. I'm guessing you're you're looking through the videos you were a part of of what you had a good time recording with us. Wow, we had I a was good a time part doing. of most of them actually. Yeah, there's always an edit that I had to do or like Photoshop myself into something. <sighs> my favorite, my favorite series that happened this year is probably maybe Sekiro I liked Sekiro having you was on a good one uh, I mean punk and our friend Matt over here with Animal the Mist Crossing Noble Animal was just that blew up that became probably like the most it's would you say series. that was the most legendary like I'm, like, I'm not a fan ever. of that series okay. yeah fuck that series <laughs> I, I, that's definitely I think our the biggest past series. two episodes have been like I don't know like, pretty uh well pretty white a little saucy a little saucy well, we were, it's well there was there's so, a lot of laughs in there. We were a little under the influence. That we is true. Those, there, there, so. were, there were a lot more laughs that had to unfortunately be... Uh, oh, there's a lot of good shit where... <laughs> you guys showed me one of those cuts and it made me laugh so hard. <laughs> in, though. Um, I don't know. This was just a really good year for, for the, the Let's Plays in general, I think. I think probably the strongest one so far in terms of quality. Um, a lot of real funny... What? Loud car outside. There's a loud car. Someone's Sorry, parking that's, in our. That's, that's Jackson's uh, prowler. <laughs> no, but get, we're, we're getting the one of the interns to warm it up. It up. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I think that this by far has been our best year yet, and I love how Superman has become this little this little family, and I and I can't wait to see what happens in 2020. And I want to thank you, Justin, for going above and beyond and thank being you. an incredible dude, thank you. and so fucking funny and cool all the time. Jackson, I want to thank you so much for just everything that you've you've done this year to help bring Super Mega to where it is now. And I love coming to work with you and seeing all your smiling faces here. And um, yeah, and what about me? Oh, uh, Ryan, <clears throat> I uh, thanks for being the comic relief. Thanks, what, man. I, I was I was just trying to thank them so they feel better the, about themselves. Oh, the lower people. Yeah, you you know. Oh, let, me, I, let me let me hold on one second, uh, Jackson. Yeah. I really enjoyed having you along Super Mega this year. We'll see what happens next year. Who knows what, what if you'll still be a part Who knows? of it. Every, anything, anything could happen. happen. It's crazy. Justin, your editing is it blows my mind. I love it. I love how well it, it, it goes along with our content and I love having you a part of the channel. Who knows what's gonna happen in a year? Who knows if you'll still be a part of it? It's crazy. Matt, uh, I, I love working with you. It's it's been a it's been an honor. And I have a lot of fun with you because you're you're a really good friend to me sometimes. Uh, <laughs> who knows if you'll still be yeah, a part of it? It's crazy. Yeah, like, like <laughs> I just hijacked who, and I'm just Super like, Mega. And I'm just like, did, who, who knows, you know, what happens in a year if you're still around with Super Mega. But it's, it's going to be crazy next year. Did you it's subtly, gonna be... subtly talk about just letting me go there? 
who knows if in a year I'll still be around. Justin, that's Dude. not very podcast after, talk right there, buddy. Every, no, I'm just saying a lot. No, after I'm everything just, I've I'm just saying a lot can happen. Channel, I'm just saying things are crazy. All the late nights I've pulled. I'm just saying, Justin, we pulled late nights too. Don't think you're special. Um, you're the only one that pulls late nights editing Let's Play content, Justin. Now I am. Mm. Uh, we stay up late doing other things, Justin. Yeah, what? Smoking and token? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, in the God reefer? damn, Ryan! It's been a fucking great year with you, and it I can't wait for has. 22. Then we're going into a new decade. And I really do like this fucking group we have. I it's think great. it works perfectly. It's fucking fantastic. I love being a part. Thank you guys so much. Rest you're, in peace, you're, Tucker. You're welcome, Jackson. Rest um, in peace, Don. Rest in peace, Don. Well, Don's <laughs> not gone yet. He's got a couple weeks left. He's couple got a, he's got a few more thumbnails. Those to tonsil finish stones are not looking too good. But. Oh God, they're awful. But God, seriously, guys. I want to, as as this decade ends, this is the last episode of Super Mega Cast of this fucking decade, the decade which we started this whole adventure, and I just want to fucking say to all of you listening, whether you're new, whether you're old, thank you so much for tuning in and being a part of this so far, and I think it goes for all of us when I say I can't wait to see uh, what comes in the next decade. It's going to be fucking crazy. Lois. Happy New Year. And uh, we'll see everyone in the next year. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Good job.